2014, baka gusto mong tugtungan? I know. Um, sa ano naman, uh, mga significant siguro na challenges na encounter. Siguro, I can speak siguro as a professional. Kasi, um, I think, I na-encounter ko to last year. I think. So, uh, meron akong, ano, meron akong uh, tinatry na package na sa web, uh, for web development. And then, di ko maanap yung sagot. Di ko siya masolve. So, nag-search ako around the Facebook. Baka meron mga tech communities or uh, mga Pinoy nakatry na ganong problem. So, yun, nakahanap ako sa ano, Laravel PH. <laughs> so, yun, nag, um, may nahanap akong, ano, may nahanap akong post doon about, about that problem. And then, ayun, um, nakahanap siya sa task ko na parang I think three days ko na siya tinatry to fix. And then, meron, uh, very, ano naman siya, uh, very accommodating naman yung mga tao dun sa Laravel PH. So, yun, um, isa talaga sa mga importante na part as a developer siguro na you find you find these tech communities uh, kasi uh, magkikikstart siya sa ano eh sa pag uh, pag work mo eh, pag work on sa task mo and then mas efficient ka as a developer so ayun lang for me so baka anyone maka dagdag about that yep siguro ako next Um, yun naman. Uh, sa akin siguro, ano, uh, start muna ako dun sa part na paano nakatulong yung tech community sa akin. Siguro, I'll, uh, I'll discuss three points. So, first one is soft skills. So, yun, uh, as a developer, uh, hindi lang naman tayo nakaupo sa upuan and nagko-code, right? So, yun, uh, it's, it's helping us to grow, hindi lang sa pagko-code, but also to uh, have a communication or inter- interaction with other people as well. So yun, nung na-involve ako sa community, uh, actually ako, honestly, hindi talaga ako, as in, nung nagsastart ako mag-de- uh, maging developer, is gusto ko lang, ah, mag-code lang ako dito sa gilid. Gusto ko lang may binibuild ako. But I am not really an, an interactive guy, so mas more of nasa introvert side ako. But uh, nung na-involve ako si, kay Angular Philippines around 2018, so parang mas na-challenge ako. Mas marami ako nakilalang tao. So, uh, nakatulong siya in terms of communication. Uh, kasi, uh, yun, iba-ibang tao yung mga kasalamuha mo, uh, magkakaroon ka rin ng leadership or magkakaroon ka rin ng leadership skills with them. Kasi, yun, nagkakaroon, uh, nung manage ka ng community. And at the same time, sa speaking. So, it's not, yeah, ngayon, uh, I've spoken into different conferences, meetups. So, hindi ko talaga plan yun. But it gave me strength na makipag-communicate sa, ibang, ibang, sa iba't ibang tao. And, yeah, to deal with challenges as well sa isang community. So, soft skills, makakatulong talaga siya pagdating sa community. So, pangalawa, I guess, yun, connections. So, I think uh, it's related to what Gene and for team said na kung may problema kayo, okay yung mahayang lumapit sa community. So, there's a lot of experts and mentors that is willing to help you guys. So, ito talaga yung isa sa mga main, uh, parang main uh, ano eh, uh, benefit na nasa isang community. So, minsan, uh, yeah, I know may chat GPT ngayon, but it's, uh, parang mas maganda pa rin na if you uh, interact with an expert kasi experience, from eh, ano talaga siya, from real experience. So, yun yung uh, second. And the third one is, yun, if you want to have more opportunities, so, like me, uh, actually nakatulong siya sa pag apply sa ibang bansa. So, um, just to give you a story, guys. So, ano ba yung tinanong sa akin nung nag-a-apply ako dito sa Netherlands? So, ang una nilang tinanong sa akin is, ano bang ginagawa mo sa community? So, ano yung naging main responsibility mo? So, interested sila. Uh, why? Uh, siguro, isa to sa mga parang uh, magsa-stand out sa'yo eh. Uh, bakit ba sila kukuha ng isang developer na nasa ibang bansa kung meron naman silang ibang developers, right? So, it's like uh, one of your unique Uh, capabilities na, ah, you're not just a coder, you're not just a developer, but you are also interested to help people. So, yeah, pwede siyang maging, ano, pwede siyang maging advantage sa pag apply uh, in different companies. And at the same time, uh, it's also like um, an opportunity for you, not just to be a developer, but uh, a leader, 
or a project manager or uh, maybe someday a CTO. So, yan. Uh, mas marami kang matututunan sa communities. So, yan. That's for me. I think before we continue, um, introduce lang natin yung moderator natin, uh, Doc Ligot. So, yeah, uh, allow me to do the honors of introducing our moderator. Um, he is a data analyst, researcher, software developer, entrepreneur, and technologist, an advocate for data literacy, AI ethics, data ethics, social impact from data. His current work focuses on human rights, public health, food security, political risk, and fighting disinformation and infodemics through the use of computational social science, social listening, remote sensing, artific artificial intelligence, and data engineering. He is the founder of Serolytics, a social impact AI company, and, da and Data Ethics PH, an online community focused on social issues such as data privacy, data security, AI-driven discrimination, data liabilities, data ownership rights, and data poverty. Three-time global winner of the NASA and ESA International Space Apps Challenges, his team's award-winning dengue surveillance application, ADIS, has been backed by the Group on Earth Observations, GEO, and Digital Public Goods Alliance, DPGA, and the UNICEF Innovation Fund. He co-authored the Master's in Applied Business Analytics degree of the University of Asia and the Pacific and led the development of the nationwide data science education program, Project Sparta. He co-founded the Analytics Association of the Philippines and is a board of trustees member of the PCIJ or Philippine Center for Investigative Journalism. He is passionate about our about using big data and AI to make a positive difference in the world and creating a better future for society as it transitions through the fourth industrial revolution. So yeah, uh, let's welcome uh, Doc Bigot. So, hey guys, sensya na, I'm in an event. <laughs> so hindi na ako magmamoderate. I'll just hang around. Ano ba yung huling tanong? <laughs> Um, the one uh, about challenges uh, encountered through uh, their tech journeys and how tech communities helped in uh, overcoming them. Okay. Marinig yung sa akin. So, kasi I'm not naman a educated dev, thought dev. So, the challenge talaga is how do you get reliable? And don talaga, communities are the best. Uh, and when I was starting out, wala wala pa yung internet. <laughs> it was a crap ng time na yun. Ngayon, you've got all sorts of places, meetup groups, ito Discord. So this is really spoiling everyone. So short of saying, AI pa. So short of saying, kung hindi ka pa matuto ngayon, ewan na lang <laughs> sa dami na pwede yung gawin. I think the challenge probably would be being one of yung reliable information. This is a damn And maybe what a tech community can offer is mentorship. For me, that's the best. You find, kahit hindi siya formal mentorship, parang meron ka lang palaging pwedeng tanungan. And I think that's one thing that I find in tech communities more often than others. Palaging merong gustong tumulong. For example, ako, Stia, when I started posting about Refocus, which I'm sure everyone knows about, I think literally, siguro na ako 500 people na nag message sa akin and answered everyone, no? And most of the time, naman after one or two messages, tapos na yung iba they stick around longer. And the common answer na ako ko is thanks for taking the time. Say usually, dito mo sila pinapansin. So in a community, in talaga, you don't even need to pay them. They go out of their way to show you stuff. And well, going back to me, since I'm a self-taught dev. The theoretical way of learning, di talaga obra sa akin. I'm not saying that's the, you know that's impossible. Other people do that. I learned by parang yung kwento ng iba dito. I learned by trying out mga templates or kung it's a web dev. I learned by creating you know, the web websites by copying other websites na nakita ko lying around. So you really learn best by. Ay, hindi pala. You really 
you learn the least by reading a book. Although I have a lot of books, you, you learn better by doing, pero you learn the best by teaching. So kung nagpapamentor ka, tsaka later ikaw rin yung nagmementor, you actually learn more. So I think I was already probably more than 12 years working when I started teaching. As in conducting courses, some of them are paid, some of them are free. Kaya natutuwa ako kay Josh, for example, kakainta ka niya sa podcast. Puro siya. Talagang yung level of knowledge ko talagang tumalon nung more than what you will learn in a job. Kasi the job is the job eh, di ba? Hindi naman papagawa sa ilahan. Pero, pero kung nagtuturo ka, you're forced to explore other topics na you would normally not care about. Uh, kaya hindi na nawala sa akin yun. Parang to, to, to really know a topic, I want to learn it and I want to teach it. Tapos, Another thing pala sa mga katropa natin dito. Uh, si Kuya Dev, syempre, sikat na yan eh. Pero, tsaka si Josh, he's already starting. I really recommend, no joke, you start some sort of a content channel. Kahit FB lang, or YouTube. And just start sharing your knowledge. Kahit walang bayad. Number one, because mapipilitan ka rin i-improve yung knowledge mo. Kasi you don't want to be sharing crap, di ba? And then second, don't know who you will help. Like, I only started posting about AI six months ago. Si Kuya Dev nga yung una kong ano eh. Post. <laughs> Nung sinabi niya, follow this guy, biglang nag-600 followers ako from zero. So, oh, believe naman ako, Kuya Dev yung power niya. No? But, <laughs> ngayon siya naman yung na-zero dahil na-shadow ban siya. So, tutulungan din natin siya ma- ano, makabalik sa dating stature niya. Although, he's on his way back. Tapos, kaka-shadow ban ko rin sa Twitter. Hindi ko maintindihan bakit. Siguro may mga natamaan nung binanatang ko yung mga cyber stuff. Anyway, different topic. But, uh, <laughs> Start start some sort of a content channel. You don't know who you will help. Kasi since I started posting about AI, tapos pati refocus, pati cyber, bigla na lang out of the blue may magme-message sa akin, uy, salamat dun sa video mo, nakatulong, blah, blah, blah. Sabi ko, oh, okay, good. It, and the level of fulfillment you get, talagang off the scale. Yun lang muna. I don't want to talk forever. Thanks a lot. Actually, Thank ano you. yan, relate ako dun sa uh, ni Doc. Um... Dito ba ako nag-start? 2019, I started my channel. Wala na, trip-trip lang. Kasi, I, siguro nung time na yun, I found, um, hindi ako nag-grow dun sa company or dun sa ginagawa ko. No? So, sa pandemic din yun. So, parang lahat medyo, ano, kumbaga, naka-stable lahat. So, I decided to start uh, my channel. Then, Tapos sabi ko, sino manonood? Wala naman akong subscriber. So, tapos yun, nag-join ako ng mga community. Daw matagal ko nakilala yan, sila Seiji. Matagal ko nang tinitingala yung mga yan. Yung idol ko talaga yan. Yan, si Jess, isa, si Jess din, no? So, ngayon, mga kasama ko sa Angular Philippines. Then, ano pa ba, ba? So, yun, no? Nag-start ako ng zero. Parang... Then, nag-join ako dun sa isang group na 100,000. Hindi ko na sasabihin kung ano yun. Baka, baka, ano eh. Then, tas nakikita ko, puro kalukuhan yung nandun, no? So, para sorry, alam baka, eh. sorry ah, pero baka may nanonood dito na taga dun. Anyway, guys, um 100,000 yun, yung group na yun. Sabi ko, pandemic yun eh. Tapos yung mga bata, yung mga students, ah, uh, Sobrang nahirapan sila. Paano to? Paano yung ganyan? Post sila doon. Pero most cases, puro kalukuhan yun nandun. So sabi ko sa sarili ko, wala akong power eh, to do anything eh, that time. Then, yun, I decided to to spend time, maybe two hours a day, for for random student for any universities in the Philippines. So doon nagsimula yung student. So, kumbaga, yung... Nag-start ako, magturo HTML. Ang daming interested. So, parang sabi ko lang, galing. Ang daming batang gustong matuto, pero walang nagtuturo. So, may, siguro, di lang sila nag-aaral ng mabuti, no? or di lang talaga nila naiintindihan yung uh, pinag-discuss ng teacher nila during that time. Kasi nga, pandemic. So, yun, tirinray ko na magturo. Then, together with that, na-realize ko na Tinuro ko na to last time. Tuturo ko uli. Different batch ng student. So, sabi ko, gawa na lang kaya ako channel para pwede nila i-replay. So, yun. Gumawa ko ng channel. So, yung zero, naging 10, naging 50. 
naging 30, tapos gumawa na din ako ng page ko. Yeah, nagpo-post na din ako ng meme. <laughs> tapos, yun, tinuloy-tuloy ko lang. And then, doon na, nag, doon na nag-start yung student, no? So, from something na... Actually, hindi ko talaga ina-expect na mag, mag, mabubuhay yung organization na yun, eh. So, actually... Umatend ako nung ano, tech community meetup, no? I represent Angular Philippines during that. Na-meet ko si Kuya Deb doon, saka si Josh, pero hindi ko pa kilala si Josh noon eh. Kinausap ko si Kuya Deb, sabi ko, eto, may nire-ready akong organization. Pero hindi pa siya kilala ni Philippine, Philippines Tech Community, no? So, nung oras na yun, January, pero ngayon, baka kausapin ko si Filipino, si Philippine Tech Community, no? Iparegister na natin. Kasi, ano na eh, Kumbaga, stable na din yung community, na ma-manage na ng mga bata. Then, yun, I think yun lang sa akin. Then, yung channel din, nasa 5K na ako ngayon sa YouTube, no? So, wala na rin ako time ngayon to do it kasi na-involve na din ako sa mga speaking, sa lahat. So, pero, yesterday, I found, uh, sabi ko, kailangan kong, kailangan kong mag, mag-upload kasi maraming nanonood, maraming may kailangan. And then, bukod doon, totoo si yung sinabi ni Doc Ligot, no, na the more we teach, the more we learn. So, totoo yun. Actually, mas marami pa ako natututunan pag kausap ko si Seiji, kausap ko si Jess, no, kausap, may pinag-uusapan kami sa community, may ginagawa kami sa community. Though sa work meron, pero limited lang. Sometimes, napapalayo pa yung pinapagawa sa atin doon sa role natin. And then, di natin kontrolado yun eh kung ano yung pagawa ng business sa atin. So, yun. Nakakatulong siya ng, um, ng marami sa akin, personally, kasi I learn a lot no? doon sa, sa pag-discover ng mga bagong technology. How can I teach it? How can I create a presentation to explain it more better? So, by doing that, yan, napapractice ko na din. Then, yun, medyo yun, natututo ko ng sobra din sa ginagawa. And I feel uh, passionate about it, no? So, yun. <laughs> yun lang. Thank you, thank you, JP. And maybe last na lang siguro si, ano, si, si Josh. Same question. No, hey guys, it. hello, hello. Um, yeah, <laughs> All right. So, so the challenge was, um, since I'm a shifter, I, I didn't have any background in IT and tech. I'm not even a graduate of IT or or comsci. Um, so it was actually around 2020 when I started to work on my own. Um, so, um, yeah. Um, that's how I also discovered um. TCS channel, uh, TCS um, F- FB page. Chaka, I also enrolled to Project Spartas uh, um, program, yung um, data science um, career path. So the challenge really there was, uh, kahit alam mo na, alam mo sarili mo na that you are skilled on that particular um, tech or 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 you have some experience naman na doing these projects, um, hirap pa rin patunayan sa iba na you can do the job. So it's really hard to get um, my first data job back in 2020. Um, parang ang dami kong dami kong sinandan ng mga ng mga um, resumes noon tapos wala talaga akong nagre-reply sa akin. And the uh, funny part was I also created my own dashboard to track all of those um, applications. Tapos na, from there nakikita ko yung mga companies na um, yung average nilang araw para makapag-reply sa mga aplikante nila. So at least at least on my um, on my applications lang. So yeah, um, Fast forward to, I mean, June 2020, I think that was the time when I got my first data job. It's not purely tech yet, for for excellent, but uh, it helped me get enough experience to understand better how to work with data. Um, so yeah, um, that's, I think, the, the very first opportunity that I got, that I got that was being part of a community then, uh, which was uh, Tech Career Shifters, Chaka. There's also a page for project career, project Sparta scholars. Um, doon ko nakilala yung mga um yung mga affiliates ko right now that led me to other hustles, um which I believe um helped me out on getting um 
more experience in 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 data and tech and of course in uh, upskilling myself as well so this year i sorry last year um was the first 